All right now, healthy eating has been emphasized in the last few years as it emerged that most of foods we get from our farms are traces of poisonous chemicals due to excessive use of chemicals. But now, a few farmers are reinventing the wheel and allowing nature through the use of worms to make manure to be used in growing crops, hence eliminating the use of chemicals. On this week's episode of The Next Frontier, Philip Gaitani visits a red worm farm. Meet Peter Kanyagia, a farmer who earns a living by getting his hands dirty by shifting through heaps of compost to unearth his money-making redworms. But these particular redworms have been found to be the best type of worms which can make organic compost. It's a fact that good fertile soil is full of redworms, but few people realize that adding worms to the soil, eliminating chemical use and giving the worms some food and water can quickly turn poor soil into the very best topsoil. They eat their own weight every day, which means that if you have a lot of worms, you can make a lot of compost. Rearing the worms might sound like a bizarre agribusiness venture, but Kanyagia is doing it to cut the use of fertilizer. He stumbled upon the age-old farming technique of using red worms to produce organic compost seven years ago. After learning what the little creatures could do to boost yields, Kanyagia turned it into a money-making venture. Vermiculture is the practice of rearing red worms. His Joe Vermiculture Farm is located in Denderu on the western outskirts of Nairobi. We have two types of compost. The first type of compost is, a, is in liquid form. It is called vermi liquid, which we harvest and put it in bucket. Uh, the, the, the other type of compost is the actual compost, hard compost, which we harvest from, uh, from the beds of the worm, uh, the, the, the worm bed. As worms feed on the organic matter and microorganism in the waste, the ingested material is finally grounded to fine manure. The microorganism decompose the organic matter and stimulate the mineralization of the complex compounds into simple nutrients easily utilized by plants. We have several coffee farms in Kenya which actually are, uh, have coffee which is organic. And that organic coffee is so expensive that Kenyans cannot afford it. It is usually exported. Vermi composting is different from traditional composting as it uses selected species of adworms to help decompose and transform organic waste into useful compost. With traditional composting, the piles are mixed and aerated mechanically, but with the vermi composting, the red worms mix and help aerate the waste. Healthy eating has been a clarion call by most nutritionists in the country and with the use of these red worms by farmers is the only sure way to ensure that you end up with that healthy plate of food on your table. Philip Keitang for The Next Frontier.